why I'm opposed to legalized prostitution. All right. Some people like to say, what I want to do with my body is my choice and no one else's. Um, if I want to sell my body for sex, I can do it and that's my right. Here's the problem. Legalization, there's two ways you can look at it. You can legislate it and say, I'm going to allow it, but with strict government control. Problem with that is, that encourages demand, and demand will try to go around the controls of the government. So all the law enforcement, all the criminal quote, ideas that you're going to not have to do because you now have it regulated by the government, will still be in place. You'll still have to go after all the illegal prostitution while protecting the legal prostitution. Also, same thing, similar things happen when you have it, let's say you totally, uh, totally make it legal. Anyone can do it anywhere. So then it becomes a business. And then like every business, what they do is they seek to get more stock and meet the demand. You encourage demand by making it legal and then these companies will try to compete with each other by getting trying to find the youngest and prettiest looking girls to work for them. They'll do that by hook or by crook. And this is where you get sex slavery. In Eastern Europe right now, women are being lured with promises of jobs to Europe and Turkey. They often have their visas taken away or they're forcibly forced into these prostitute these brothels where they are raped and then their services sold by the people owning the brothels. The government in the EU, the EU has pretty much ignored the issue because they don't want to in any way get in the face of prostitution which they've legalized and has become a big money business for them. And so what? They don't really care about the Eastern Europeans anyways and whether or not women are being sold into slavery. This is what happens and it happens everywhere. For example, in Turkey, they made it, they did it, the thing that they're going to have controlled prostitution. And they were going to have the government regulate it so that you wouldn't have health problems and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For every one legal brothel with their older madams and the women who stay in the industry and only voluntarily, there's 10 illegal ones that have younger women that are cheaper to get a hold of. And Bin Laden have been sent made our sex slaves imported from Eastern Europe, who destroy their lives in the name of legalized prostitution. This is what happens. It's happening in Europe. It's happening in Turkey. Neither groups seem to be all too interested in really ending the practice, because to end the practice, you really have to just get rid of prostitution altogether. But they miss the basics of economics. It's about supply and demand. If you create a market where in which human beings are the su supply or the demand, they want people either used for sex, reproduction, whatever. And you don't have the supply. Then you have a vacuum which will create a need for that supply to be filled and people will find a way to get that supply filled, even if it means hurting people to do it. So, this is what's happening with legal, legal prostitution. This is why I'm against it. It has harmed a lot of women. Right now, numerous women from Eastern Europe are now slaves in Europe and in Turkey, thanks to this legalized prostitution. Yes, it's a liberal idea. It's also a libertarian idea, but I think it's ultimately unhealthy to society, and I'd rather have it illegal than to see women who, innocent women, forced into sex slavery just so people can get their kicks. Anyways, that's my comment on prostitution and the legalization of it. Thank you very much, and have a good day.